So yeah, welcome. Um, I uh, thought I'd do one of these to, well, because I managed to get hold of some Yu-Gi-Oh boosters. Um, and I, whilst I've, I've had the game since the start, since the AVX days, I kind of fell out of it with for, for a couple of years in between. And initially I wasn't really that stuck on the Yu-Gi-Oh content. I, I'm not a big Yu-Gi-Oh IP person. Um, I have owned some Yu-Gi-Oh in between where I might have acquired some from a collection but then passed it on. So this, I haven't really got a huge amount of, other than the obvious uh, meta cards about what any of them do. So I thought I would just do a bit of uh, I thought I'd open these and see what I get and sort of read them out as I go and explore them. So let's let's get started, shall we? Right, these are what this is the first Yu-Gi-Oh boost that I've ever opened. Let's see what I've got. Okay, so right, how's this gonna go? Let's get myself a bag. Let's put the rubbish in as I go. Or I could just chuck it down there. Let's just chuck it down there. Okay, so I have got Breaker, the magical warrior. Mana Breaker. He's a four cost fist. When summoned, you may move an action die from the field to its used pile. That's not bad. That's quite nice. Maybe, maybe expensive at a four cost, but then yeah, no, that's alright. And Harpy Lady Sister, another common. Triple Scratch Attack. This monster cannot be blocked unless it is blocked by two or more monsters. That's quite a nice, solid, sort of good, solid stats on that and chances are you're going to get it out or you're going to probably KO a couple of small things so that's not bad at all let's pop that there okay it's nice and satisfying opening these boost effects okay I recognise that die so we have Marshmallow Oh, it's an uncommon. Three cost shield. If this monster is knocked out while blocking, you may pay one life to return it to the field. See, that's quite fun, because then you're never going to get rid of it. You're going to have a nice persistent blocker, which is always useful. Um, and the classic blue eyes, or the common blue eyes white dragon, terrified behemoth. Six cost bolt. When this monster attacks, it gets plus one for each other attacking monster. So that's, I mean, those stats are big already. That could be that literally monstrous. When summoned, deal three damage to one target monster, and potentially you could get rid of something um, in the means whilst. Okay, excellent. Let's put them there. Just keep them all sort of some sort of order. Although how long that'll last is is another thing okay so got another common uh, and another uncommon so we've got curse of dragon bony body four cost bolts when this monster damages an opponent return it to your bag instead of the used pile okay so that's kind of a I suppose an early almost immortal type thing so then you're going to get it early again the next time. Nice. Particularly good, I suppose, if you've got uh, some way of making it unblockable and you've still got all your stuff in your use pile. So that's quite fun. Then we've got Goblin Attack Force Goblin Squad, the uncommon. This monster cannot block. If you are damaged, knock out this monster. Hmm, okay. Global Pay Fist, target monster must block this turn if legal. So does that mean I could pay the fist to make it be able to block or? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Well, it does have massive attack stats, so maybe yeah, you, if you want to knock out a certain thing that's got big defense, you could do so. Yeah, that's not bad then, actually. Right. Okay. I've got got my first rare here we go so I've got let's do the common first I've got harpy lady cyber slash so three cost fist when summoned 
you may spin a psychic die in your ready area to its monster side. I'm guessing that's ready area is the reserve pool. I've not come across that term before. But that's good. So you could actually just then field a psychic, I suppose. So it could be used for other psychic based prep, maybe. If you're playing golden, which I suppose you would have to be. Um, and then we've got a rare baby dragon, four cost bolt, cute but dangerous. When this monster attacks, it gains plus one attack for each other bolt monster you control. Okay, that's nice. So that could, uh, if you're in a bolt deck, that could become quite big. Nice. Fielding costs are quite nice on that as well. Okay. Right. okay, so I've got a common and an uncommon. I've got a two cost common Karebo Yugi's Protector. When this monster gets knocked out, knock out an opposing psychic. Could be useful, nice cheap fueling costs. A reasonable defence though, so you'd have to, I suppose if you're coming up against a big attacker that's quite useful. It might also, if, uh, I know that went for timing, yeah that's not too bad for a two cost. And then the uh, uncommon dark magician girl, powerful sorceress, five cost mask. At the start of the attack step, this monster gets plus one attack for each monster in your used part. Okay, that's interesting. That I suppose if you uh, attack at the right time, that could be quite useful. Um, seems a lot for a five cost, but then it's got some big old stats for cheap fielding costs actually. So yeah, a naught three five, a naught four six, and a one five seven. Actually, that's not bad at all then. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so nice. Okay, so I've got the common blade knight, lone wolf, for four cost fist. When this monster attacks alone, spin an opposing monster down to level one. Okay, that's nice. So that could mean he's got enough stats on there to to. Uh, make use of that as well, that's quite nice. <sighs> okay, S is it Slifer? Slifer? We'll call it Slifer, the Sky Dragon. 8 cost Bolt, he's a, a god, growing ever stronger. So, wow, I think that is possibly the only printed 10 on a die. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but I think that that is the only quote printed 10 or one of only two or three. So yeah, that is a 3108 on his mech, on his level three. When summoned, you may pay one life to spin a die up one level. Okay, so you could, I suppose, if you're lucky enough to roll him on level two, you could pay a life to make him a level three, which that would be quite uh, hard to resist doing actually. So that is nice. It's a nice dice as well, nice and uh, translucent. Yeah, I suppose I should be showing the dice more often, shouldn't I? There we go. Um, although I imagine most people that watch this will have seen all of the dice before. So, but okay, again, we've got a common and uncommon. So, uh, Flame Swordsman, five cost bolt, Master Swordsman got a nice orange die. Uh, when summoned this monster gets plus two until the end of the turn, that's a nice solid ability. Again if you're on his level three it's expensive fielding cost but then you've potentially got a nine, uh, an eight six if you wanted to attack straight away. Then we've got the uncommon Gaia the Fierce Knight, Spiral Shaver. Interesting. I have no 
clue what these references are by the way but I'm sure they make sense if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan um, if this monster is blocked and not knocked out it also deals half its damage rounded down to your opponent nice so it's kind of sort of half over crush I suppose so yeah I guess twinned with the force block ability on the on the goblin then uh, you could do some nice damage with that and so he's got a, a sword, a double swords for its uh, I suppose or lance, maybe it's two lances actually, yeah it's two lances for its die that's nice okay recognize that die that is an injection fairy lily die so a nice solid two cost injection fairy lily rocket attack um, as I say yeah two cost nice stats for a two cost not one three not three three not one four four um, yeah that is nice so you could use that with your with your clay face I suppose with the um, Cree Captain would be quite a good option there. Saggy the Dark Clown, Dark Light. This is an uncommon four cost mask. It's got a, the hat is his tie. Cannot be blocked by psychics. If this monster damages the opponent, knock out an opposing psychic. So that's a bit of a double whammy then. So if they've only got psychics in the field and they need them in the field, then that's kind of a double whammy to get rid of one and to go through for two or three damage it's not not to be sniffed at nice okay. right, so two more. looks like another goblin attack force and another blade uh, uh, flame swordsman but this is the rare version, so we'll go for the goblin, goblin attack force. So this is the common three cost fist. What was the other one? That was a four cost fist, but it had the global on it. Okay. So the, this monster must attack if legal. If a level two or higher monster damages you, knock this monster out. Okay. They seem a bit fragile, but. Again, you, you might still be attacking with a 6 or a 7 on the higher levels. So that's still not bad. Not bad at all for a 3 cost. And then we've got the rare Flame Swordsman. Sal Salamandra Flame Strike. He's a 6 cost bolt. When summoned, your attacking monsters get plus 1 attack, plus 1 defense until the end of the turn. Okay, nice. That's not bad at all. So that would stack if you had another one of him. That's nice. So you could do some, some proper damage with him. Okay. Oh, not sure what that one is. I've got a common and an uncommon. I've got Mystical Elf. Four cost shield, mystical healing. When summoned, gain one life. Nice and simple. Four cost, I'm not sure that would get used too often. Although again it's cheap fielding cost, so 024, 025, 137, so not bad stats. I feel that though with those defensive you're not going to get him out the, get her out the field very often unless you can get through unblocked. Um, or you can KO her in some other way, so it's not too bad. I'm not I'm not a big fan of the gain life cards, but they do have their place every now and again. And then I've got the uncommon Black Luster Soldier, Chaos Blade, five cost sword. It's quite a nice. Uh, has the luster, as it would say, of the sort of pearlescent dice. There, it's very nice. Mo when this monster attacks, your other Fist monsters get plus one attack and plus one defense. And it's got, which I check the, the, the 
cards are blank. Ritual, I might have to just work out what ritual means. I'm, I've read it before, but let's uh, just try that again. Ritual, you may move a monster. Well, that's actually, I think, explained it there. You may move a monster from your reserve pool to your used pool. See, that says reserve pool. So what did the other one say earlier? Was it that one? Your ready area. See, that says ready area. I'm not sure what the ready area is when this is stating a reserve pool. So, ritual instead of paying this monster's fielding cost, you may send another cat monster character die from your reserve pool to out of play in order to field this monster. Okay, so yeah, so it's got two fielding across the board. But I can effectively sacrifice an unfielded character to pay the monster's summoning cost. Okay, well that's not too bad. I suppose if you've got a nice little cheap uh, the injection fairy lily, I suppose, then you could just go, well, I don't need her at the minute. I'll just sacrifice her and field him for free. Okay, that's not not bad at all. But I suppose then if you're using the ritual then it won't affect as many monsters with the buff, but ah oh, but that's only for fist monsters. Okay, I've got another baby dragon die. I've got two commons now, so I've got a Doom Caliber Knight, five cost fist skeletal warrior when an opponent uses an action die you must cancel the effect and knock out this monster wow okay I'm not sure how I feel about that well I suppose you then get to roll in the next time but someone could just use the action die I guess for no for no value but just to just to care him if they want him out of the field. I don't think I like him that much. Okay and then the common baby dragon uh, three cost bolt baby dragon juvenile reptile three cost with okay stats for a three cost blank probably better blank cards out there um, I'd have to work out the maths on that but there you go Okay, I've got another baby dragon. So this is the common. So have I, have I managed to pull out all three rarities of the baby dragon? That's quite fun. Right. Yeah, cool. So I've got the uncommon Celtic Guardian, or Celtic Guardian, whichever way you want to say it. Lightning fast, four cost bolts. Oh yeah, that's him with his helmet on, yeah, I can see that. If none of the other monsters block, this monster gets plus four defense. Wow. Okay, so if you just send him out to block, then he's a big beefy blocker. That's quite nice. Okay. None of the other monsters block. That's okay if something singularly is attacking you. But if there's more than one, depending on the size, then yeah. So this is a four cost bolt. This is the uncommon baby dragon soft scales. Um, when this monster attacks, you may pay bolt to give it plus two. Nice and simple, I suppose. So you could effectively decide whether you want to pay to give it a if it's unblocked I guess it'd be nice to go through for sort of five or six damage if you've only got to deal with small weenies then or even if you want to if you want to deal with bigger ones you could then just ramp it up just to try and get rid of them yeah okay it's nice that you get the choice
got an uncommon sand gun, is it? I think it's sand gun. Not particularly obvious there, but he is a two cost shield. He's got uh, worse stats than the Injection Fairy Lily, I would say, for the two costs. Okay, just a different energy type, but he's a 0 2 1 0 1 2 2 1 3 2, where she's a 0 1 3 0 3 3 1 4 4. So I think she's better if you're going to buy a 2 cost, unless you specifically need shields. Um, yeah. That's my views on that. There's a dice with three eyes. And then I've got the uncommon man eater bug at four cost fist. When this monster is knocked out in combat, knock out one monster engaged with it. So, okay, so it's kind of got deadly for one thing. That's not too bad. And then you've got the uh, little horned face there of the, the man eater bug. Okay. Here we've got another injection fairy lily. We've got uh, the common again, so we've seen that one already. Okay, and we've got a uh, Lord of D Dragon protect Protector Uncommon, so four cost shield. While this monster is active, it cannot be the target of opposing action dice or abilities. And then on the level one burst face, your monsters with dragon in the name cannot be the target of opposing action dice or abilities. That's quite nice, that. Huh? If you're thinking of running a dragon team, that is good. I wonder if that cross targets with um, uh, with the D and D dragons. I wonder. But yeah, that's quite a handy one, and for a four cost, that's that is real protection. I like that. Okay, I've seen both those dice before. So I've got the common man eater bug, another two cost. I think though that that again with the against the injection fairy lily. Um, I don't think that I would be buying that over that, apart from a fractional higher level 3, but for a 2 cost fielding instead of a 1 cost fielding, I think you're just going to go for Injection Fairy Lily, aren't you? So, yeah. Breaking the Magical Warrior, so this is the common version, we had the uncommon in the first pack. 3 cost fist as opposed to a 4 cost fist. Uh, when summoned, if your opponent has more monsters in the field than you, draw and roll one die. That's effectively what became underdog. Um, but that's not bad, I guess. It's okay, I'm not, I'm not sure if underdog is that valid. Uh, I'm not sure if I like it that much, but again, the stats we've seen before so there are 0 3 1 0 3 2 1 4 4 so that's quite good stats actually for a three cost um, okay it looks like we've got our first action die Ooh, and another god okay so we've got the Ring of Magnetism, Sidekick Attraction, Four Cost Mask. And it's basically the die is, I think it looks a bit like, I'm guessing it's a hand with a ring on it, it's a bit of an odd shaped hand. But play on a monster, all opposing sidekicks must attack while that monster is active. Ooh. So I guess in do I just attach it to the monster and say until he gets KO'd, all sidekicks must all oppose. That's pretty nasty. 
yeah nice so that's very useful actually that would be good against uh, teams that uh, like fish lap teams to uh, get them to attack when they don't want to attack and um, yeah that's nice then we've got the winged dragon of Ra solar deity this is a seven cost bolt it's a nice die okay so there's another ten so he's got a ten defense the other guy's got a ten attack um, kind of liberal with their tens um, when summoned, choose an opposing monster and roll it. If it does not roll a monster face, move it to the prep area. Uh, I prefer it to roll to the uh, to roll to the used pile, but still, it's removal. It's expensive removal, but he's got massive stats, so you can kind of live with that. It's in both these dice before. So we've got the common marshmallow again. I oh know we haven't had the common one yet, but this is the two cost shield. Again, these stats are a little bit better than, say, the. Uh, and then what was the shield? Other shield. Two cost. Okay. Well, I don't know. Hmm. Not sure why you wouldn't go for the Kurabo over that because it's it's actually the same stats. Not one, two, yeah, identical stats. So why wouldn't you go for the Kurabo over over the Marshmallow? And the part other than if you wanted to pay pink dice or whatever. Um, and then we've got the Sangan. Three cost shield zealous supporter, which is the uncommon. When this monster gets knocked out, you may return a monster other than this one from your use pile to your prep area. Return a monster other than this one, but it wouldn't go to the used pile if it got knocked out. Some strange wording on that. But then that is Wizkids all over. We've seen the dice already. Okay, let's get some more. Okay. Alright, so we've got goblins and we've got the luster. So we've got two commons here. I've actually not had too many duplicates. I'm quite happy about that. Um so I will go for Goblin Attack Force, we've seen this one already, so I won't dwell on that too much. Then we've got the Common Black Luster Soldier, which is 5 cost Fist Ultimate Soldier. If you attack with only Fist Monsters, this monster gets plus 1 attack. Okay. I can see that being used. A lot of the fist characters are more attacky characters anyway in their nature, so that's not bad. And again, it's got the ritual keyword so that you can sacrifice a, a character rather than paying the cost. Nice. Okay, right, that looks like. Okay, that's a Buster Blade in common and a Jinzo common. So we've got Cyber Energy Shock, five cost shield. It's a translucent one again. I do like the translucent dice. Uh, when summoned, move all action dice of both players in the field or reserve pool to the used pile. That would be nice to get rid of certain traps, I suppose, in D and D. Um, yeah. Nice. It's got some big old stats on it as well. One four four one five five two seven five. That is not bad at all. And then uncommon Buster Blade. So he's got some big old stats as well. So he's a five cost bolt character. He's subtitled Dragon Slayer. 
when this monster attacks or blocks it gets plus two attack and plus two defense for each level three monster your opponent has filled in the field okay so he could get massive but it all depends on your opponent so that might also prove that might sort of make them wary about fielding level three characters um, but he's a one four four a two five seven and a three six eight those are some hefty stats as well, but some big costs. Yeah, but yeah I like that card. Uh, because even if, you, if if the opponent doesn't field any uh, level 3 characters, then he's still got big stats. And then he might not field a character that he rolls on level 3 because I can get a buff from it. So it's a bit of a prevention as well. Okay. Alright, so we've got another uh, another common man-eater bug and we've got a rare red eyes, I guess that's red eyes black dragon because he is black and he's got a nice again another sort of pearlescent dice uh, seven costs bolt character claws of steel when summoned level one monsters cannot block this turn oh that's very handy so uh, and on his level three is his burst face when summoned knock out up to two level one monsters so that's nice that's no psychics no tokens god catchers for example and then you could actually knock out up to two if we use the god catchers again just when he's summoned, that's a, that's a very nice card. Yeah, and he's got a 155, five, 266, and a 377 on his field. In it. I like that card. And then he would be, if he had the uh, dragon um, protector dude, then yeah, then he can't be targeted by any. Uh, opposing action dice or abilities uh, so he's going to stay there for a little while okay looks like we've got another goblin attack force okay so we've got another common goblin attack force that's the third one of those and then we've got the thousand in brackets island and at close brackets dragons I call it a thousand island dragons I have seen this guy before he's a six cost bolt noxa, noxious nostril gust Let's try saying that quickly <laughs> so he's got fusion right let me uh, get the fusion keyword up well, it kind of says it on there but I'll read out the fusion during your main step you may move a number of appropriate fusion material monsters from your field zone to your prep area so I guess that's kind of like early fabricate move the die with fusion from its card to your prep area oh see that's very strong so before your attack if you move two different fusion characters that symbol is I think there's one on the baby baby dragon yeah so the baby dragon's got that symbol so if you move two characters ah so let me have a quick look see what else has got that on it uh, baby dragon is it just baby dragon so I guess that's why you would have a baby dragon as well if it's a two cast Oh, no, it's three. Mm, okay, but then you can get two, three cost is a lot easier than getting one, six cost uh, from the field to your prep area, and you may move this to the prep area. That is again, that's very strong. I like that. Uh, it's only a max one though, so you could do it once. Um, but then a global pay bolt, the next action die you buy this turn costs two less energy, so that's also a, a good secondary ability. Okay. 
Okay. So I've got the common Breaker the Magical Warrior. So we had that first card I pulled out. And then we've got the Millennium Puzzle, the Eternal Dungeon. So that's a five cost shield action. Oh, we just had something about buying actions for cheaper. When rolled, move this to your field. It does not go to your used pile until it's used. I guess that again, that's early form of continuous. You may discard this die to send one opposing monster to its used pile. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? So I guess, again, could you do that to the God Catcher? I'm not sure, but that's a very useful card. Just get rid of something big from the field, like your 10 eights or that you're not gonna get out of the field or your 10 defense winged Ra, dude. All right, so let's do this one and then I'll take a break. Okay, so okay, we've got two that we've already seen before. We have got the uh, Common Blade Knight, which we've seen before. And we've got the Rare Ring of Magnetism. We've had the Common, this is the rare one. So this is the four cost mask monster attraction. Play on a monster. Your opponent can only block monsters affected by this die until each such monster with this die has been assigned to blockers. Your opponent can only block monsters. So would you play on the monster card? So if, if I put it on the Blade Knight, your opponent can only block monsters affected by this die until each such monster with this die. Is that just saying, Every monster with this die has to be blocked by a minimum of two blockers. That is very confusing wording. Um, I'm not sure about that. Okay, uh, let's get some more of that. A few more to go. The box is falling over. Okay, I suppose it should start getting quicker now because uh, of the ones we've already been through, and I've got another common baby dragon, and I've now got the Millennium Rod, a six cost action die, a fist, scepter of supremacy. Oh, that's rather nice, it's got a bit of a pearlescent on it as well. Yeah. When rolled, move this to your field. It does not go to your used pile until used. You may discard this die to take control of one opposing monster until the end of the turn. You may attack or block with that monster. That could be quite useful. Yeah. It's expensive for an action die there. Yeah, it could be very useful. Okay. I have my first common duplicate. So, so flame flame swords we've already had, and the winged dragon of Ra we have already had. Okay, that big old defense. Okay, All right. So another rare. So we have the dark magician common that's the first one of those we've had six cost mask master spellcaster while active at the beginning of each turn lose one life and draw one extra die I don't know how I feel about that so yeah that's it's a double edged sword really isn't it uh, expensive though
Okay, sorry about that. Okay, um, Harpy Lady Sisters, Trio of Terror, six cost fist. When this monster is attacking, after blockers are assigned, it deals one damage to your opponent for each opposing monster that does not block. Oh, that's quite nice. So they're damned if they do, damned if they don't with that one. Excellent. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, a common mystical elf. We've already had and a Lord of D Dragon Protector. We've already had also. Nice and you run. Okay, we've got another copy of Break of the Magical Warrior and another copy of the Uncommon Buster Blade, which we just drew out a couple of turns ago. Okay, I can feel that this is so definitely going to speed up a bit now. Right, okay, we have got two. Okay, we've got a Kurabo common, which we've already seen, and a trap hole uncommon. Okay, so just play that and knock out all psychics, both players. That could be very handy. That's a four cost mask though, so it's quite an expensive one, but if you can reduce the action cost, then that isn't too bad at all. And you'll have max three of those though. Okay, right. Ooh. Another common Jinzo which we've already seen, and a rare Saggy the Dark Clown. Dark Slayer, four cost mask. Instead of attacking, this monster may deal two damage to an opponent's monster. Okay. I can see how that would be useful, so he doesn't actually have to attack at all. You can keep him in the field and just ping off stuff. That is quite nice for it. just a mere four cost as well. Apologise about the hay fever season. Okay, Mystical Elf, we just got one of those, so we can skip that one. And then we've got Thousand Island Dragon, or Thousand Dragon as it's actually called. Six cost bolt, Inferno Flame Breath. When summoned, put two dice from your bag to your prep area. Nice. Uh, fusion, okay, so that's the ability for, uh, yeah, so basically KO two fusion characters to prep this die from the card. Again, that's quite handy ability. Makes it nice and cheap rather than a six cost. It's going to be two, three costs. Okay. Oh, another trap hole, another thousand dragon. Okay, so a duplicate of that one, and then the common trap hole, a three cost mask, knock out a level one monster with cost of five or less. Nice and simple. That could be very useful. I suppose you could do that with your own monsters as well if you had the thousand dragon out and you wanted to get it back around again so you can get some more prep Ooh, okay so another common Jinzo and then the rare goblin attack force unruly throng four cost fist this monster must attack if you are damaged not this monster out it's the same text as the other one but it has a global pay fist target must monster must block cannot block must attack okay I'm not sure what the I mean it could still block but if you're fielding it then it's not going to be there to block anyway hmm, interesting 
and compare that to the other goblins. Must attack, must attack. Okay, mm, interesting. I'm not sure I, apart from the attacks, it's uh, interesting. I'm not sure I like them too much. Apart from the fact that they've got massive attacks, so if you happen to get it out at the right time, I suppose you could go through with a quite a nice hefty attacker and yeah, do some damage. So we've got a common Lord of D, which I haven't had so far. So he is just a three cost shield blank with some nice stats. Yeah, very handy. A 155 on level 3. That is nice. And then another baby dragon com uncommon. Okay. Alright. Two commons. We've got Kaya the Fierce Knight, which we haven't had before. And we've got Buster Blade, which we haven't had before. So. I had a fierce knight, it's a three cost, uh, sorry, a six cost charging stallion. If this monster damages an opponent, it deals an equal amount of damage to one target monster. Uh, nice, okay. So they kind of have to, to block really, otherwise they're going to take potentially losing their bigger characters. Five cost bolt character, Buster Blade, Dragon Butcher. This monster cannot be blocked by monsters with dragon in the tower, so the other one helps out them. This one can't be blocked by them, so yeah, you don't want, want to go up against him with some dragons then. Yeah, that's pretty handy. Again, the big stats on there, including the fielding stats. <laughs> Another copy of Slough, Slough, Slifer the Sky Dragon. So we've seen him already. And then a Harpy Lady Sister Common we've already had. Okay, okay, the only. So Doom Caliber Knight, we've already had the common of that. Uncommon Ring of Magnetism, so that's the full set of them too, which is handy. Three cost mask, action attraction. I believe this one's been used by quite a lot for a while. Play on a monster, your opponent's action dice and abilities can only target that monster. That's quite handy. And yeah, so if you've got something that doesn't take damage from abilities and action dice, then you just chuck that on him. And they're sort of invincible against them all, which is nice. Yeah, I can see why that's been used quite a lot. Okay. Ooh, I know who that is. So we've got Harpy Lady Common. Have we had that one? We've had that one, yeah. And Rare Obelisk the Tormentor, Fist of Fury. Eight cost fist, and he's the, the gods. Uh, Osiris or whatever, Anubis, one of the two. While this monster is active, your opponent cannot re-roll dice. Your opponent can pay two life to cancel this effect for the turn. So he's going to shut stuff down and then you've got to start taking life. That's pretty horrible. And his stats are also on there. So that is a 166277399. So yeah, that is that's really strong. Okay, so we've got another common ob uh, another common blue eyes, and we've got another uncommon sand gun. Okay, and we've got another. Common Sangam, and we've got another uncommon Ring of Magnetism. And for also. Okay, we've got. Ooh, that is. Ooh, 
okay we've got La Jin the mystical genie of the lamp loyalty is master four cups fist whenever you summon a monster a fist monster you may pay you may spin all copies of this monster at one level nice so you really want it on a level one because that's the cheaper cheaper side then it gets a bit bigger and then the uh, rare morphin jar this is a three cost shield a uh, mask sorry field reset when summoned choose one die in each player's prep area put those dice in the use pile and replace them with random dice drawn from that player's bag oh, that could be really handy if you know that you've got a character coming up in your bag that you want out and you know that someone's already prepped their nice character then you can hopefully change theirs for a psychic and yours for something that you want in the field that would be really fun okay so we've got the summon skull intense lightning six cost bolt while this monster is active <coughs> whenever an opponent summons a level three monster deal two damage to that opponent Again, that is like one of the other ones where it sort of slows you down from fielding your bigger characters. That is quite, that is quite fun. Makes them think about it. Yeah, because there's the one that buffs from them sealing, summoning level threes. So that that would do damage to them as well. So then they probably wouldn't do them at all. And then this is a five cost bolt character, Curse of Dragon, Dragon Flame. While active, the first time you summon a monster each turn, this monster gets a plus two attack and plus two defense. Nice, that's a lovely little buff on that. That is a five cost. But you potentially got an eight, seven going on there for a turn. Another trap hole. So now we've got the common trap hole which I think we got recently, yep. Yeah. And the rare Buster Blade. Nice, oh, all different rares so far. Six cost, Bolt, Buster Blade, Dragon Executor. At the start of the attack step, this monster gets plus one attack, plus one defense for each non-psychic monster in your opponent's used pile or prep area. That's good, handy then. If you get that at the right time, then wow, that would be quite amazing. That could be something extraordinary. Okay, so now we've got. Okay. Another Celtic or Celtic, we'll say Celtic Guardian and a uncommon Morphin Jar. This is a two cost mask, all seeing eye. When summoned, your opponent rolls a die from his prep area. If it rolls a monster face, return it to the prep, otherwise, put it in his use pile. That's just a bit of nice disruption on that one there, nice and cheap. Well, they're not as cheap as the common morphing jar, which we might see soon, hopefully. Okay. So we've got the common red eyes black dragon inferno fire blast, a six cost bolt. When this monster attacks, knock out all psychics of both players. This monster gets plus two attack for each psychic knocked out in this way. So that could, if you twin that up with a, an instant war and then field this, then he's going to get a plus 12 just from then if he's lo if you're lucky. So that could be a one turn killed right there. Um, okay, and then another common harpy lady sisters okay. Oh, okay that's a new die 
No, it's not a completely new die. So we've got Harpy Lady Sisters. Okay, which we've just had. Common of that. And then we've got Dark Magician Girl, Common Arcane Companion. This is a five mask, five cost mask. At the start of the attack step, this monster gets plus two attack if you have any monsters in your use pile. That's going to be relatively, that's going to happen reasonably commonly, I would have thought, so that's not bad at all. Potentially a one fielding costs seven nine, uh, seven seven, sorry. Yeah, nice. Okay, so we've got another common marshmallow, and then we've now got the uncommon injection fairy lily forced injection three cost fist. When you assign this monster to attack, you may take two damage to give it plus three attack. Okay, so if you're going through an unopposed, then that's a net one damage more. That could be a good final killing blow. Uh, that's quite fun. Or it could give you enough to knock out the big annoying thing that um, if you can force the big annoying thing to attack that could be the to take out the field. Okay and there we go. I said that might come up and that is the level the common morphinger blank but it's a one cost mask brilliant for doing clay facing for mask characters like the green lantern human there we go and the uncommon doom caliber knight we haven't had so far so he's a five cost fist while this monster is active it cannot be the target of action dice or abilities Ooh, nice and simple Global pay uh, fist when you attack, your monsters cannot be the target of action dice or card abilities. That's really nice. But then that, other people can use that as well, so that could be a bit of a, again, a bit of a double edged sword. Where have I got? Oh, up here. Okay. okay, so that's another common red eyes. That's another common Gaia. Okay. All right, that is a. Have we had a common one of those? No, so that is the common Saggy, which is just a three cost mask. It's blank. With some decent stats. Yep, that could be useful. And then the rare Lord of D. Uh, Dragonkin, so he's a five cost shield. While this is that monster is active, damage to your shield monsters from fist or bolt monsters is reduced by two. If you're running just a shield deck, that could be very useful. Global pay shield, target dragon gets plus one, plus one. Nice. Okay. Got another common Sangan and another uncommon Goblin Attack Force. Okay, and then we've got another common Red Eyes and another common Flame Swordsman. I get it speed up at this stage. Okay, two doing caliber knights. We've got we've already had the uncommon. So then we've got a common a skeletal warrior. I think we've had that as well. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We've got another common injection fairy lily and another curse of dragon common. Last few, definitely the last few. No, okay, 
So these are the last few. Be nice to get a super rare, but there might not be any for reasons. Okay, so another Curse of Dragon common and another Millennium Rod. Okay. Then we've got another Man Eater Bug common and a uncommon Blade Knight, which we haven't actually seen so far. So that's a three cost fist, Blade Knight, Solar Act. When this monster attacks alone, any damage it deals in excess of the defense of its blocker is dealt to your opponent. Okay, so that's basically Overcrush in the olden days. So, a common Lord of D, I think we've already had, yep. And the first super rare, excellent. I was worried that I wouldn't get any going on the fact that it's the last three packs. Eight cost bolt character, Slifer the Dro Sky Dragon, Thunder Force attack. When summoned, knock out all opposing psychics. While this monster is active, psychics cost three extra energy to summon. Wow, that's, that's mad. Global pay bolt and move a psychic die from your prep to the used to deal one damage to target player. Ooh, that is hardcore. That is nice. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be facing that, would you? Especially if you bought a psychic centric team. So we've got a, another black luster common. And we've got an uncommon. Summon Skull, which is five cost bolts, lightning storm. When summoned and for the rest of the turn, whenever a, mo a bolt monster is summoned by either player, deal two damage to a target monster. It's quite handy if you've got a bolt team, you just start peeling off stuff. Uh, oh, okay. Time Wizard, which you haven't seen up until now. So another breaker, the magical wizard, and time wizard, time magic number uh, four cost. Also, he's also he can be sacrificed to build a a thousand dragon. When this has got nice dice as well, I like that. When summoned, draw a die from your bag and roll it. If it rolls a monster face, your opponent chooses and knocks out one of his monsters. Otherwise, knock out one of your psychics. Return the roll die to your bag. Give me a bit of a double-edged sword there. And the final one. Okay. Right. So the common morphin jar, which we've had. And the uncommon trap, which we had. There you go, that wasn't a bad pick, that was 60 boosters, so not a full box, so I've got one super rare. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 rares, all of which were different, which is very nice. And then, yeah, a good selection of the rest. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, enjoyed that, I'd, maybe a blast from the past for some, maybe all new stuff to others. Uh, Definitely some staples in there, and definitely some stuff that you probably wouldn't want to pick. Um, but yeah, very happy to get that super rare and this selection of rares, and even the the specialist action dice, which are quite nice. So yeah, overall happy with my selection there. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Check back for some more videos.